today we will be talking about polycystic ovarian disease. Almost 10 to 20 percent of women suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome in the age 18 to 35 years. These days we see a lot of lifestyle disorders, very prominent among them being polycystic ovarian syndrome. The symptoms of this disease are irregular period, unreasonable obesity, hair fall, acne, pigmentation, unwanted hair, lethargy, sleep disturbances and of course least but very important is the anxiety and uh, stress related issues. So let's first talk about causes of polycystic ovarian syndrome. The main cause seems to be hereditary that is if the mother or the grandmother or the sisters or the first cousins always on the maternal side if they have polycystic ovaries then you are likely to have PCOS and the second one being lifestyle. So these days we see people eating a lot of carbohydrates, processed sugars and a lot of food with preservatives. Probably this is contributing to lifestyle diseases. We are more concerned about polycystic ovarian disease because it is a multi-systemic disorder where the hormonal balance is not in place which leads to irregular menses and later on leads to infertility in their married life and apart from this people also have dyslipidemia that is the lipid profile gets uh, worsened with increased cholesterol so this leads to increased chances of hypertension and diabetes in later life these people also have a lot of sleeping disorders this is because people tend to put on weight on the abdomen or around the neck which leads to something called sleep apnea which in turn does not allow to have a sound sleep and because of that people always have lethargy and because they put on weight their confidence level comes down and they feel even more lazy to go to the gym and exercise and because they also have insulin resistance this actually multiplies the problem by not allowing them to digest their carbohydrate food which just goes and becomes fat. So even after they have a proper meal they don't feel energetic and at the same time they are putting on weight. So because of insulin resistance the level of insulin in the blood keeps on increasing and this leads to hyperinsulinemia and hyperinsulinemia again causes acne, pigmentation, mood swings, abdominal obesity etc. So this becomes a kind of vicious circle where you know people have uh, irregular periods and that leads to obesity, obesity leads to loss of confidence, sleep disturbances, anxiety, mood swings and because there is anxiety people end up eating a lot because anxiety always leads people to have comfort food and uh, unfortunately all comfort foods are like uh, fried stuff or uh, sweets as in ice cream, pastries, brownies etc. So comfort food is never about uh, good food as in palak, methi or egg whites. So then once they eat the sweets and the fried food again it triggers this uh, insulin resistance and again the same cycle follows. So what is the solution for PCOS. So it is a multidisciplinary disease which requires a gynecologist to take care of the hormonal imbalance, needs a dietitian who can put them on high protein diet and if they are having carbohydrates they should have carbohydrates with lower glycemic index. And next it needs a psychotherapist who can help them to balance their moods and teach them tricks how they can trick their mind into getting away from anxiety issues and also from craving to have more fatty food. It also needs somebody who can teach them how to exercise, how much to exercise because as we all know whenever we talk about weight loss people always concentrate on cardio exercises, lot of running or swimming or gymming and uh, sometimes even Zumba, skipping. So what happens with cardio exercises? People lose 
calories when they exercise and immediately if they eat they again put on weight so this has to be balanced with strength training so when you do strength training you increase the muscle mass of the body and so there is increased burning of calories even at rest and also if you keep doing repeatedly lot of cardio exercises you are likely to harm your joints and bones and not really achieve much because in PCOS it's all about changing your lifestyle and it's like a long term thing suppose you are wanting to lose say around 6 to 9 kgs so you cannot be losing 3 4 kgs in a month because the sooner you lose the faster you lose weight the faster you regain it so it has to be a lifestyle a modification kind of work which has to be consistent for a very long time so if you aim to lose say around 1 to 1 and a half kg a month then by 6 months you would have reduced 9 kgs this is the way to plan your weight loss journey and your lifestyle modification journey so at least in PCOS nothing happens overnight and nothing happens quickly and there's just no shortcut for this so what happens usually when people come with uh, obesity or they come with only hair fall or only acne or uh, sometimes only irregular periods then they want to address only that part so it doesn't work like that like for an acne you may end up going to a dermatologist so it doesn't work that way PCOS is always and always lifestyle modification in addition to multidisciplinary help so I urge all youngsters to have a very active lifestyle a healthy lifestyle have home cooked food and whenever it comes to food you should always look for three things the quality of food quantity of food and the timing of food and at least exercise three to five times per week out of which you will divide 40 to 45 percent into aerobic training and the remaining part into strength training be very particular about your sleep time you need at least six to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep and always put mind on emotional stability and mind stability this is extremely important because the physical health and the mental health always go hand in hand. Thank you.